Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here from Polymathics and let me tell you first of all how excited I am that you're here, that you came to visit my site. Um, you have no idea what it means to me. I've been putting a lot of effort into getting this thing going and you know bear with me as the site starts to build up and I provide more content but my hope is that no matter how small the piece of information is that you can find something some tidbit that you can take back to your to your real life and apply it to some sort of problem or project that you're working on right now and get great results um, and so I hope you see value in that and um, the, the purpose of today's video is to serve as an introductory an introduction of sorts so I'm not going to explain to you what all the buttons do you've been to plenty of websites before to know how that works. This introduction is to going to be what is a polymath because I'm sure some of you guys are asking right you you probably never heard of the word and then also and most importantly why is this so important to me so let's get right into it. So the term polymath comes from the Greek and it's broken down into two base words poly meaning many and math meaning subject. And so in the Renaissance this would refer to someone who was an expert in several different fields. Leonardo da Vinci is a perfect example of this. You know, the everyman, you know, artist, um, scientist, inventor, etc, etc, etc this is not to be confused with a jack of all trades and master of none that would have been the local smithy or workman right there's a huge difference between that and your Leonardo da Vinci so the nuance here is that a polymath would have been a jack of all trades master of some and therein lies the true key the polymathic mindset, the way that they look at life, the way that they attack problems, right? So because of this mastery that they had, um, what would happen is when they saw a problem, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just come at them from one, one angle or from two. They could look at it from multiple angles, all at one time. And because of the mastery that they had in different fields, they were able to see connections in seemingly unrelated topics. And because of that, instead of just seeing multiple problems, what they really did was saw the big problem as a whole and where the root of that problem came from. And then they were able to tailor the appropriate solution that allowed humankind to enter into new horizons. This ushered in a new era of understanding and invention and um, and it, it just brought humankind to new heights and so if we look at the way technology has advanced over the past few decades information is coming at us at an alarming rate and the problems that we face today are far more complex and far more difficult and far more different than those that our fathers faced or our grandfathers faced. And what that calls for is a different solution. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, roughly around that time frame, we, the Western culture, have, have focused on a specialist's mindset, a monomath sticking to one thing and being good at that and working for a company for years and years and years on end. Well now, as time has progressed we're starting to see that technology is taking care of those more simpler tasks and that what people are really good at is getting creative and seeing things from differently different angles and um, that's really where I feel as though the pendulum is shifting from the monomath to the polymath and the purpose of this site is to give you the tools and the and more importantly the mindset on how to become a modern day polymath. We see them popping up everywhere nowadays. People who who are 
emit very good in several different different subjects, and this allows them to to be successful um, and and come up with solutions, grand solutions to to great big juicy problems. And if we, as the human race, intend to ever get off this rock and do anything further, then we need more people like that. So, um, I hope that this gives you an idea of what my aim is, and I hope it didn't bore you to tears. Um, I promise I'm not always so serious. If you guys can see behind me, I have like Avengers paraphernalia and X-Men, and and um, I'm a huge video game nerd and, and movie buff. So um, I'm sure there will be lots of conversations about that. And, and honestly, there's a whole mindset that goes along with being a polymath. It's seeing the world from a different point of view than what, than what just the normal everyday person would. And, and just by the fact that you're here visiting right now and that you've stuck through this long means that, that there's something inside of you that, that you're telling yourself, yes, this makes sense. So. If you find this interesting, if you want to learn more, please, you know, continue to stop by. And as I said before, hopefully you you can find just even that one piece of information that you can apply today um, to make to, to make life easier, to help with a problem or some sort of product that you have going on. But anyways, until I see you next time, take it easy.